Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials. My name's Nigel, and this is my lovely wife. What's June. your name again? June. 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 Yeah, you can sorry. somebody say that. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm June. Just had a memory freeze there. <laughs> wife you forgot ten, my name. <laughs> wife for nearly 10 years, you know. <laughs> forgot. <laughs> yeah. It's my lovely wife, June. And so welcome to Wife Learns Android Tutorial Series. <laughs> So today we're just going to talk about object oriented programming. So object oriented programming can, it's not just for Java, there's a lot of languages that support object oriented concepts. And because last week I was asking you questions about members, methods, yep. classes, yep. objects, yep. and you were finding that a bit confusing. Yeah. That's the terminology you use in object oriented programming. Yeah. So whether it's PHP or Java or C Sharp or any object oriented language, that's the terminology you tend to refer to the code in. Mm -hmm. um, in the old days, before object oriented programming, you had what was called procedural code. And all you had was a bunch of methods, or back in those days, we called them functions. And so basically, you'd just be calling a bunch of functions, but uh, if you had a large amount of code, the code could end up what we call spaghetti code, code all, all over the place. So to manage code, they came up with object oriented programming, thinking of things as objects. Okay, so we're just going to talk about the object um, functions, the, the object assets as part of the code you've been working on. So if I just use your machine here, Jane. Yeah. And so basically, what we have here is a class. Yep. Do you sort of know what a class is? Mm, not sure, but the class is always like this. Yeah, so class is basically public, just means that this class yep. is available. Yeah. Probably to every other class yep. within inside this application. Yeah. So you make it public, everyone, all the public can use it as well. Yep. If you made the class private, it would only be, uh, you wouldn't be able to access that class outside, mm -hmm. so to speak. So, so we have we have class. Mm -hmm. We also have something very important here called extends. Yeah. See how the class extends activity. Yeah. So activity is one of the main building blocks of Android. Yeah. It represents what you see on the display yeah. at any one time. Yeah. And basically. When our class yeah. main activity extends activity, yeah. what you're getting here is you're getting all of the functionality of activity yeah. you can utilize for yourself. Mm -hmm. So we can use, we've got access to everything within activity, all the public mm -hmm. and protected functionality mm -hmm. of activity. Mm -hmm. we, we can utilize that as well. So that's what extends means. Mm -hmm. and, and outside of that, a class just consists of members and methods. Members are like regions of memory that hold information. So here you've that's got members. Yeah, that's members. So here you've got a string, anything. Yeah. Actually, if well, I just open up your source code. What application is this? Do you know, Joe? Uh, this is not the application we've been working on. Let me see if I can switch across to. Okay, let me see if I can find the application we've been working on. June's first application. And I'll start that in a new window. So that was your other project that yep. you're going to practice doing your Android coding on? Yeah. I don't see a lot of Android coding in that particular project, yeah. I gather you're still going to make a start on that. That's right. Yeah. Okay, so is that loaded? Okay, June, can you open your main activity class yeah. inside Android Studio? This one? This one? Oh, yeah. Good? Yeah. And um, which one? Just the main activity. This one? Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. Close this. Yeah, and close this. And can you close the left pane as well? This one? Yeah. Just to, and you can navigate up to the top of the source file. Yep. Okay, so this is something that's more familiar to you. Yeah. So let's talk about members of this region of memory that hold information. Yep. So basically, as you can see here, you've just got an edit text, which is an object. Yeah. So this edit text is would be a class. Yeah. And so we've got two edit texts here, yeah. both classes that you can um, create and refer to, similar to what we've created yeah. here. And we've got an int. Yeah. So we've got a number here. So what we're doing is we're allocating, yeah. we're reserving spaces of memory to put information there. And that's what we call members. Yeah. Is that, that straightforward? Yeah. So if I ever asked you in the future, could you find such and such member? Yeah. You would sort of know, do you tend to put <coughs> members at the top of the class as yeah. well? Mm -hmm. Would Would you be happy with what a member is now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The other part of the class is methods. And that's where you do um, the actual work inside the class. Yeah. And so methods, yeah. in the old days we used to call them functions, yeah. um, <coughs> tend to start with a public, mm -hmm. a boolean, and then you've got the name of the methods here, mm -hmm. on create, mm -hmm. um, on create options, a menu, menu, and this one here you created yourself, that's yeah. also a method. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So methods, methods can either do a job, yeah. or sometimes a method can also return, oh, what we'd look at as being a member, they can yeah. return values. Yeah. If it's void, yeah. the method doesn't return anything. Yeah. But if it's got like a boolean, yeah. which is true or false, yeah. that's about the only example we've got here. But a method can return anything, it can return a string, yeah. it can return an object, yeah. It can return um, numbers. Mm -hmm. It can return lots of different things. Yeah. Or it can return void, which means it returns nothing. So, I see. That so, means void. void. Yeah, void. void. If a member has a value such as Boolean, you will need to have a return. Mm -hmm. Returns what you return back. So yeah. you return a string, a number, a true or false Boolean, mm -hmm. an object, it will have to be returned what there. So we avoid, you don't have to return anything. And methods also have arguments. So this method's argument is menu item. Yeah. The on click method you created, yeah. the argument is a view. Yeah. But arguments can be anything. They can be a view is a class. Um, it can be a number, it can be yeah. a string, it can be a Boolean. Yeah. And, that, and those are arguments. Yeah. So, um, for example, onCreate takes a bundle. A bundle is an object that contains lots of different types of data. Yeah. So, and that, that's basically methods. So, a class is going to consist of members. Yeah. And then you tend to put all the methods underneath the members. Yeah. Okay. Is, is that clear, Joe? Yeah. So if I talk about members and methods now, yeah, you'll be a little so. bit more yeah, familiar yeah, with. Yeah, great, yeah, great. Yeah. Okay, just talk about one other thing. Yeah. Think of class as a template. Okay, yeah. Think of it as a design. As a template design. So by itself it does nothing. Yeah. But when you actually, you can actually, what's called instantiating, you can actually create an object based on the class plan. Yeah. So whenever you see a new followed by the class name, yeah. you're actually creating an object. Yeah. And an object is what you can actually do something yeah. with. Yeah. So objects are actually, they have substance. Mm -hmm. They do something. Classes are more like your design. They actually don't do anything. They're, the, they're, the, they're like the plan. Yeah. They're like the blueprints. Yeah. So if you had a house... Yeah. The class for a house would be the blueprints, yeah. but the new and the object for the house would be the actual house built. Mm -hmm. Does that analogy, analogy make yeah. sort of sense? Yeah. So we will come back to this. Yeah. 
So that's just basically the difference between an object and a class. Yeah. So whenever I talk about objects yeah. such as a view is an object. Yeah. So now that's an object created from a class. Yeah. So if you do a search for Android, actually, do you want to do that now? Do you want to go to your Chrome Explorer and do a search for Android View? Android View, okay. Yeah. Android. Yeah. Okay. Uppercase View. Just V, uppercase V, View. Type Enter. And you want to click on the top one? Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay, this is it. What, what do you see at the? What do you sort of see above the view, Jane? The big words view. View, yeah. What's, How about class? Yeah. So oh, views is a class. That's really good. Yeah. So virtually everything you're going to see in Android is yeah. going to be a class. Oh, okay. Sort of thing, and so views just a class. Yeah. A bundle is a class. Virtually yeah. everything you're going to see there, besides the primitives. A yeah. primitives just like a number, a string, or a boolean. Basically, those ones. Now, outside of that, we're basically it's going to be working with classes. You know, we're going to be working probably with objects created from those classes. So, so if you just want to go back to the source code now, okay. So, does that, does that help? Yeah. Navigating and understanding yeah. what each page yeah, does. Very, good, good, yeah. good. Okay, June, just a question for you. Yeah. Inside your main activity, yeah. How many members do you have? Um. One, two. Three, just one, two, three, one, yeah. two, three. Yes, perfect. Is that correct? Yeah, that's yeah. perfect. Okay, Jen. Um, how many? Yeah. I'm gonna make this one a bit trickier. Yeah. Oh no, wait. How many methods do you have? I think I can, can count this as one, one method, like this one method. Oh. So what's the total number of methods in your main one, activity? Two. Three, four. Yes. Yeah, so you got four. Okay, how many void methods do you have? Just one, like this. Yeah. Yeah, just one. Uh, void. Uh, void. Yeah, but how many, what's the total number of void methods? Ah, sorry, I missed that. This one, so two? Yes, yes, yes. So, and do you understand the difference between a more void method ah, and a method that returns? It's more, much more clear. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. How we do for time? That's so. That that's all I really wanted to do was introduce you to the basics of object orientated yeah. okay. programming. Yeah. So, are you a lot happier about yes. members? Yeah. Methods. Yeah. Classes. Yeah. And have you got a little bit of an idea what an object yeah. is? I will reinforce yeah. objects because they're a key concept of it. Yeah. Okay. So I'll test you again next week yeah. just on this. Okay. But um, hopefully we can now move forward with Android and you're a little bit happier yeah. when I talk about methods, yeah. classes, yeah. members, and everything mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Good, okay. I, I think we'll conclude the tutorial at this stage. Yeah. Are you happy to finish yeah. it here? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Okay, that concludes this tutorial. If you like my tutorials, please subscribe. And it's bye from Nigel. And Zoom. And bye from June. Bye from June. Thanks. Bye. Chat, chat you later. Bye bye.